Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel, back again with our FIFA 22 Manchester City career mode. Successful episode last time out, I went against Manchester United, against Bournemouth, against Villa, uh, against West Ham, with a draw against Moscow and Lazio in the Champions League, it cost us a little bit. We kick off today's episode with a game against Peterborough, which we will simulate, then it's Arsenal away at the Emirates. Lazio, we welcome to the Etihad, we've got to try and win that one. Spurs at home as well, and then Newcastle away to end the episode. Taking our more time with this series in Season 2 now, you know, we've made our new signs, the squad's looking good, we're playing more games, and I'm really enjoying it again. Um, you know, towards the end of last season, I started to not enjoy the game, purely because we're just losing games for fun, but we're playing really good football at the moment, so Peterborough first in the game, we simulate. So a quick sim, got the second team out against Peter Brill, let's see you've got man of the match, who's actually Bernardo Silva an 8.8. .8. We had a, uh, you know, players like Cole Palmer and, and Lindel up on the bench, but they weren't brought on. A 2-0 win anyway, Bernardo Silva in the 90th minute with a goal, and Ilkay Gundogan in the 31st with a goal as well. Well, we're definitely doing really well title challenge-wise. We are top of the table by two points. Liverpool are the side behind us, Leicester City in there as well, and Arsenal, who we face away today, are in fourth position. So a strong side for Arsenal today, Zach Stefan starts in goal, it's Cancelo, Diaz, Lacroix and Tierney facing his former side in the back four. Rodri, De Bruyne and Grealish in the midfield three, Stone on the right, Phone on the left and Alexander Isak through the middle on the bench. We've got Ferran Torres, Riyad Mahrez, Bernardo Silva, Phillips, Walker, Laporte and Edison. So here at the Etihad... So here at the Emirates Stadium for Manchester City versus Arsenal. Arsenal in fourth position having a decent season. Uh, under Mikel Arteta, ex-Manchester City player in there, Nathan Ake. Very good signing for them, actually. Uh, he went to Arsenal in a deal for Kieran Tierney, coming the other way, plus 35 million. And uh, Arsenal got a left-footed centre-back, which clearly they're looking out for. And we got a left-back. See there, Arsenal side. Luka Jovic has been signed. Pablo Fornals as well from West Ham. Lucas Torreira is back from his loan. Granite Xhaka in the midfield. Of course, Nathan Ake at the back. Looks a strong Arsenal side, actually. So this is the Arsenal side. Bert Leno starts in goal. It is Masrari, Nathan Ake, Ben White and Cedric in the back four. Lucas Torreira and Granit Xhaka partner in the midfield with Bukayo Saka, Captain Martin Odegaard and Pablo Fornals in behind Luka Jovic. They've got Ramsdale, Bellerin, McNeil, Balogun, Mavropanos, John Jules and Smith Rowe on the bench. Pretty good Arsenal side. Mikel Arteta has made plenty of changes, hasn't he, this team. So Manchester City versus Arsenal and he's live from the Emirates. Rodri out to Sterling. Great pass into Cancelo. Come back to Sterling. De Bruyne with a hit. Good block away by Arsenal. That was a good try. And Cancelo controls the counter attack brilliantly. De Bruyne. Sterling. De Bruyne. Rodri. Grealish. De Bruyne. Cancelo. Sterling across the box, defended away by Ben White. That's a corner. No, oh, he's offside, Raheem Sterling. We're struggling to get a shot off there. Arsenal have got men and bodies around the ball. Oh, well done, Sterling. I'm looking out to keep that one in. Wide to Raheem Sterling. Sterling. Grealish. De Bruyne again on his left foot. Good save by Leno. Good chance created again. Grealish involved, laying it off to De Bruyne. Well, Diaz is in there for this one, and Diaz over the bar. Big header from the captain. Cross comes in, Cancelo blocks, is a corner for Arsenal. It's actually a bit of a tough game, this one. I have to say, Arsenal are doing pretty well. Cross comes in here. Ooh, Ben White there, ahead of Lacroix. He's in his back. Ben White couldn't put it in. The throw into Arsenal, very congested. And some of the passes we're playing... Trying to get them in behind and so on. They're not working. Cancelo picks this one up. Grealish. Isak on the right foot. Good save from Bernd Leno. Maybe could have gone with his left there. He's been poor again, Sterling, today, I'd say. The defending from Lacroix and Ruben Diash. Foden, that's our time. Nil nil. Well, Sterling's been a. Really, I mean, right wing was struggling a little bit because Sterling and Mares. Just not, not the level we want. Sterling signed that new contract. Well, that slow day at the office, even they're picking out Sterling. He's been really poor. Isak, good touch. To De Bruyne. Cedric is standing off Sterling and not letting him run in behind at all. It's a good pass from Sterling, though. De Bruyne. Isak attacks that. Oh, it's off the post. Folding the far post. Good defending from Ake. 
Isak threw everything at that. Absolutely everything at that. Hits the post and then forward and shot. He scuffed it under pressure from Ake. Wide past the post. Still nil-nil. Arsenal hang on here. Brilliant from Rodri again. He's been fantastic in midfield today. Ooh, nearly gets another one. Jovic. Saka. Turns Tierney. Erdegaard with a hit. A good save from Stefan. Nisak. Very involved. Cancelo. Isak. Mares. Isak. Isak. Good save from Leno. Foden on the rebound. 1 0 Manchester City. Goal for Phil Foden. We deserve that. I mean, I don't know why Isak's gone with his right foot over his left foot there. Is he right footed, Isak? I thought he was left footed. I've gone to bend that one into the far corner. Great play by him and Mares. So much space here. Leno with a good save. And Phil Foden's always going to tap that one in. Always. Despite that earlier miss. Foden doesn't miss that one. Ake okay, can't get there ahead of him. And we lead 1-0 here at the Emirates. Foden's third of the season. Scoring goals again, Phil Foden, for that left-hand side. Seems to be his position at the moment. He's made it his. Avrapanos. And it's Xhaka. What a ball. Stefan out there. Good goalkeeper from Stefan. Nice run from John Jules as well. And it's Grealish. Through to Phil Foden, wonderful ball. Foden. Foden. Mares! 2 0 Manchester City. Wonderful little cutback from Foden there. Mares gets a goal off the right. Maybe he wants to start ahead of Raheem Sterling. Good cross in from Foden, a goal and assist for him today at the Emirates. Lifts it in. Mares on the right foot. Across the goalkeeper and defender. We're going to bring Bernardo on for Grealish. She's not the best of games, Jack, today. Good finish from Riyad Mares. Leno had no chance. It's so close, isn't it, when Maris hits that one. So, really shot for Bernardo Silva. And 2 0 lead here, and that's game over, and now it's just a clean sheet we're looking for. Tina up against Saka. Over the top they go. Saka down to John Jules. Oh, good goal from Arsenal. So frustrating. John Jules with a goal. So, so frustrating. Lacroix came across because Tierney was out of position. John Jules smashes one in the top corner. 2-1, clean sheet gone. That's annoying. But I think we're going to concede way less goals than we did last season. But that's not good enough, that bit of defending there. These four nails. They've sort of wasted it a little bit. Mavropanos. And giving away. Luckily for us. Nisak. Mares, he's on. He's on, ref. Into Isak. Oh, he tried to get his way past Ben White. Mares slides in. And that is full time. A 2 1 win against Arsenal. Another win on the board. We're playing a lot better. I'm disappointed to concede that goal to John Jules, where it was a little bit of poor defending from Tierney and Lacroix. I think mainly Tierney and Lacroix to go over to cover him. But we'll take it three points again. And we continue our amazing run at the moment. So up next it's Champions League action and we face Lazio and you see there we're on 5 points in the Champions League Lazio are on 7 so a win here today will put us above them and we want to keep up our winning streak at home as well Well the fitness of the squad is poor going to this Lazio game and it shows how important it is on FIFA to have I believe two players in each position you need two players in each position and especially at City's level you need two world class players in each position Otherwise, you know, fitness-wise, you'd be in trouble. I mean, look at this. Cancelo, Rodri, Lacroix, Thierry, De Bruyne, Foden, Isak all can't play today's game. Now, if it wasn't having two players in each position, we'd struggle. And that's something we need to think about going into January. With Bernardo Silva leaving, Cole Palmer's going out on loan. Um, I think Liam Delap might leave on loan as well. I don't. At the moment, we had no offers, but Palmer's definitely going to buy a Leverkusen. And Palmer would be the one who would play there, maybe. He's still got a bit of growth to go in him yet, I think, before we start getting into the first team. We do need to bring in possibly a Bernardo Silva replacement because we don't have anyone to play there. So this is the side we're going to go with against Lazio today. Edison in goal, Walker, Stones, Laporte, and Zinchenko in that back four. Phillips Gundogan, the captain of Bernardo Silva in the midfield three. Jesus on the left, Mars on the right, and Ferran Torres at the stri striker position. We've got Sterling, Palmer, Grealish, Roderick, Cancelo, Diaz, and Stefan on the bench. So, Champions League European night at the Etihad Stadium. And today we face Lazio. We managed to get a rescue, a 2 2 draw against them in the previous fixture away from home. We're looking to do the opposite today. And I think, interesting enough, Kaiki does start again for Lazio on that right hand side. And it's so interesting to see that a player that we've loaned out 
He's getting a lot of first team football. He's playing first team Champions League football for a Serie A team, for a top Italian side. And I've been very impressed by that. And I'm very happy that's the way it's going for Akaiki, who, you know, maybe next season, maybe the season after, maybe he's still a little too lowly rated, could get in this Manchester City first team. And with Mahrez going, possibly Sterling's future isn't going to be around forever despite signing that new contract. So that's going to be an interesting one on the future of Kaiki and Manchester City. Vincenco. Ferran. On the turn here. They're standing off him a little bit. Mahrez. Gundogan. Ilkay Gundogan test Rakosha. Not really much power in the shot, but it was a chance. Corner ball. Oh, Ferran's in there and Ferran Torres scores. 1 0 Manchester City. Him and Isak battle it out for the striker position. Despite Isak being lower rated than Ferran, Isak's just scoring goals for fun at the moment. Um, but Ferran Torres, like he said, we need two world-class players in each position. And when Isak is not there, he's not going to be around forever. What if he gets injured? Ferran Torres is there to step in just as a higher level. And he gets up on this corner really well ahead of their defenders. And a header in for Ferran Torres. And assists for Elkai Gundogan. And one nil lead Lazio. That's a fantastic start. Similar to their start, scoring early on. Great football. Bernardo White to Jesus. Jesus. Ferran Torres tries to beat Strakosha at that near post. Good save by the goalkeeper. Which Ferran in there for a header again. Cleared away. And he's Ferran. Gundogan. Ferran. Bernardo. Vincenco. Clips one in. Ferran Torres is in there. Saved onto the post by Strakosha. He's getting plenty of chances today, Ferran Torres. Nowhere to go, had to go backwards. So we're getting back into our shape as well now, which I like to see better defensively. Milinkovic Savic for the switch. It's all a full back. Minchenko involved against Husai, but he's lost out. Husai still. Past him. And past Laporte. Too easy. Milinkovic Savic. Gets it across the box. Oh, it comes off Edison. Still away. Chance again for Lazio. What a save by Edison. What a save by Edison. Oh, what a ball by Bernardo. Mares. Mares. Oh, why did he not go with his left foot, Riyad Mares? Tried to bend it to that far corner. Which Ferran Torres in there again. It's headed over the bar. All the chances are falling to Ferran's head at the moment. Wide they go. Anderson. Interception. Mares into Gundogan. So easy. Counter. Oh, Ferran was on there. Ferran might still be on. Great pass by Mares. Is Ferran Torres? Ferran. Ferran Torres makes it 2-0 Manchester City. Wonderful finisher from this right hand side when he goes across the goalkeeper with his right foot. He's got the shot power as Ferran Torres. And he makes it 2-0 here. The thing is, we could go in at half time 2-0, and it will be maybe a repeat of the reverse fixture if Lazio then come back to 2-2. So this game isn't over by any means. They haven't been as good as they were at the start of the previous fixture. So Kaiki has come off at half-time for Lazio. Ikone is on, so that shows that they're not fully convinced by me that he does need time, I think, to develop as a player. Oh, well played. Chance here. Chance to beat Edison. He's near post. Good save by Edison. He's offside anyway. Edison's had a good game today. Bernardo dived in. That's one thing we do lack in midfield. Maybe someone with a bit of energy and pace, which Bernardo brings. Falling behind to Ferran. He's away again, Ferran Torres. Ferran. Jesus can't miss that one. I thought for a second he might, because that was a slack pass from Ferran. But 3 0 we lead here against the Italian side. Brilliant goal from Jesus. Good work from Ferran. Gets it across the box. It's a tap in for Gabriel Jesus, and I think we'll get Cole Palmer on now. Give him his chance. Maybe steal it at some point as well. I think Grealish for Bernardo is on a yellow card. Good goal from Gabriel Jesus. Good work from Ferran Torres. So on comes Grealish and Cole Palmer. Immobilite. Hit and blocked by Stones. Good defending today. We want that clean sheet, don't we? We do want that clean sheet. Worked hard all game. Well done, Calvin Phillips. Grealish. Oh, well done, Jack. Ferran. Jesus. Phillips. Cole Palmer. See how Palmer is just not ready. 
He really isn't ready. Can see Anderson, he's offside. But Cole Palmer, I think we've seen a few times, he isn't ready for the first team. Alex Kaiki, unfortunately, 70 odd rate, it just isn't enough. Counter. Ferran into Jesus. Back into Ferran. White Hill Kai Gundogan. Back into the box to Ferran Torres. Good block. Chance on the rebound. Oh, Grealish picks it back up. Calvin Phillips with a hit. And good save from Strakosha. Diaz is going to come on for Laporte. And that is full time. A 3 0 win against Lazio. Brilliant, brilliant result that is. And I think we won't win at home away from already completing our objective of seven straight wins at home already this season. So still top of the table, this time by two points. But Liverpool have played another game than us, so we can go a few more points clear here. Five points clear with a win here today. Isak is top goal scorer in the league with 11 goals, which is good to see. And top in assists is Jack Grealish with seven in seven. Jesus in there as well with four in six. Phone as well, no Kevin De Bruyne, which I'm pretty surprised at. And if we have a look at our objectives for the season, the board have set us. See there, we've won six games in the row at home. A win here against Spurs will make it 7-7. Seven seven. We've got to sign three players from Europe. Well, if we replace Bernardo Silva in the summer, in January, sorry, then that is that completed as well. Of course, we want to try and win the Champions League, the Premier League and the FA Cup. The financial finish with sign three crucial players and make a profit of 107 million apparently we've not even signed one crucial player well i consider alexander isak a crucial player and I, so i would say tierney calvin phillips but apparently not it's low priority it's not something we're going to worry about the confidence rating currently from 41 at the end of last season so at this moment in time 95 we're doing fantastically and if we win against spurs here today we've completed one of our objectives that we don't want to start again and try and win another seven games on the bounce at home so this is side for Spurs today. Stefan starts in goal. We've got Cancelo, Diaz, Lacroix and Tierney in the back four again. Rodri, De Bruyne and Grealish in the midfield three. Stern on the right. Phone on the left. And Alexander Isak through the middle on the bench. We've got Ferran Torres, Gabriel Jesus, Bernardo Silva, Phillips, Walker, Stones and Edison. Now Mahrez had a good game in the last one, didn't he? Or was it? Yeah, well he didn't. Yes and no, didn't he? In the Champions League game. But he did against Arsenal. I've put Jesus on the bench ahead of him. Because like we've revealed, Jesus is... One of them that's top in assist or near the top in assist, so he can come on for Sterling. If Sterling has another bad game, which then I'm really starting to think about the right wing position a lot going into the next summer. Um, Stones and Walker don't start. I've, I've gone with this, this back line. I know we didn't get a clean sheet against Arsenal, but uh, Laquat and Diaz are working well together at the moment. Um, Laporte I'm not liking. Stones is fantastic as well. Maybe Stones and Diaz is the way forward, but we'll go with that for today and see how it works. Still no Edison. Stefan's back in goal again. But uh, if Edison gets a few more clean sheets in games he does plays and plays well, then he will be back in for Stepan because he is overall the better goalkeeper. So Manchester City versus Spurs today. Can we win seven out of seven at home? And this win streak that we're currently on um, in the Premier League, I think is even longer than that because you think we've been winning away games as well. We've won to uh, the last game, Arsenal. It's been fantastic. We've been so, so good this season. And long may it continue, hopefully anyway, long may it continue. So this is the Spurs side. In goal is Hugo Lloris, the captain. Emerson, Davinson, Sanchez, Eric Dyer and Regular on the back four. They've got Joel Matip in the midfield. Odd with Ndombele and Lascelles. So it's Harry Kane, Thomas Loire and Hume Min Son up front. El Nasiri on the bench there. They've got Madison as well. Sessegnon. Scarlett, Carter Vickers. Why didn't they just start Madison in the midfield? Why Joel Matip? So Manchester City versus Spurs. Maybe it's a five at the back. Matip's a pretty good ball playing centre back anyway. Signed from Liverpool. It's live from the Etihad Stadium and Hyungmin Son is off straight away. Good block from Diaz. Well, we, we've struggled against the bigger sides, haven't we? We did beat Manchester United 2 on, but we have struggled against the bigger sides. We'll sell so in Dombele again. Harry Kane, good block from Diaz. Back into Son. Turns Cancelo. Diaz with a block and oh, Lacroix. Brilliant. Really sure you can't lose it there. Kane. Well done, Lacroix. Into Foden. Oh, tried to take it on his chest. Cancelo, well played. Foden. Grealish. Tierney. To Sterling. Down to Isak. Oh, good save from Hugo Lloris. As he tries to lift that into the far corner. Diaz up there. Good defending. Oh, Lacroix. In real life, that's a red card. Diaz. See any? He's that Grealish. 
Finish towards Sterling. Ooh, Regulon's made a mistake here. And we're one nil up against Spurs. Well, that was a really dangerous ball from Jack Grealish. Something I think he's learned from Kevin De Bruyne in his time at City. Only his second season here, but De Bruyne has taught him how to make those passes to put him in a, such a dangerous position between the goalkeeper and defender. He switches this to Sterling. What a ball. Regulon doesn't know what to do, so he's got to get something on it. He's tried to get out of the way, Regulon, as Hugo Lloris comes flying in. And in the end, it just hits Regulon. He's under pressure from Raheem Sterling. And it's an own goal for Tottenham Hotspur. And Bobble's in. Thought Eric Dyer might be able to get there to clear that. But he hasn't got the pace. Maybe Max Hans Lacroix might have done. But that is 1 0 City. An own goal from Regulon. Gives us the lead. Thank you. Well done. Spurs tries to hold him off there. Harry Kane in behind here too. Lamar, what a challenge by Ruben Diash. What a challenge from Diash. Grealish. Over top for Isak. Isak. Isak! Oh, Sterling. So, so close, Raheem Sterling. So, so close to making that 2 0. Off Kane's heel. Back in possession we are. No counters from Spurs. Controlling it well. Grealish. In behind to Isak again. And he pulls it back to Kevin De Bruyne. Into the hands of Lloris. He had Sterling to the right of him. Maybe I could have gone to Sterling. But he sat back into De Bruyne. Half time one that we lead. Thanks to a Sergio Regulon own goal. He sat. Three attempts. No goals so far. He sat. Cancelo. De Bruyne. And Sterling running here. Here's Kevin De Bruyne. He's looking for a pass. There isn't one. So he just puts it in the back of the net anyway. Kevin De Bruyne. And makes it 2-0. I was looking for someone in the box. Isak was the man who started the move. So I couldn't go to him in the box. So De Bruyne just puts it across Hugo Lloris with power. But there, we've got Sterling and De Bruyne in the wide areas. This is what I'm loving about this team. On the left-hand side, Grealish moves over alongside Tierney and Foden. We've got a little triangle on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, it's De Bruyne. It's, on this day, Sterling and Kinsello. And they make a little triangle. And it's so hard for the full-back and centre-back and midfield to just, you know cover the wide areas and when they do go out wide if they do step out to cover those three in the wide areas then we've got the people through the middle in Rodri, in Alexander Izak to cause some problems as well so we're such a good team at the moment, the tactics are brilliant absolutely brilliant just lets it run as Kevin De Bruyne, he's lost it Spurs in the counter Lamar Matip Jungmin Son switch of play, brilliant switch of play Lamar Round Tierney. Chance for Ndombele. 2-1. Goal conceded again. That's frustrating. I have to say, Tierney perhaps at fault there. And there's nothing we can do about that one. Again, another goal conceded. No clean sheet. Okay, but we've got the quality to hang on. I mean, you're going to score one goal against us, but you're not going to score two at the moment. Rodri. Isak. To be Bruyne. Walker. Ferran. Walker again. Ferran once more. De Bruyne made a run there. Grealish. Isak. Ferran. Ferran. Oh, De Bruyne is in there. Somehow we haven't scored goal kick. Stupid pass, maybe. Here comes Spurs. Cross comes in. Well done. Oh, Stefan. Gets away with that. I have to say, well done, Stefan. Then he went and did that. De Bruyne to Ferran. Isak. In behind to Ferran Torres. He's quicker than Regulon. And here he goes, Ferran. And Ferran Torres. Oh, nearly beats Hugo Lloris. Phillips is going to come on for De Bruyne. He's tired. Isak. Phillips. In behind to Ferran Torres. Still Ferran. Oh, shocking pass. Phillips there to intercept, but he's just slowed it down in that he's full time. We do get our seven wins on the bounce. A 2 1 over Spurs. No goals for Isak again. That's two games out of goal. He's finished. Is he finished already? I don't think so. Great win over Nuno Espirito Santos side. Three points on the board again. And we're now five points clear at the top of that Premier League table. Kevin De Bruyne with the winner. Well, Borussia Dortmund here have come in for Liam De Lapp on a short term loan at the end of the season. We did reject a loan to buy from Arsenal. And Liam De Lapp. That is a deal we definitely will accept. I think playing for Dortmund alongside Erling Haaland or possibly as a backup to Haaland will be a very good move for Liam Delap. And for our final game of the episode, we will go away to 18th place Newcastle United in the hope of keeping five points clear at the top of the Premier League table. 
This is side for Newcastle today, Stefan starts in goal again, it's Walker, Stones, Diaz and Tierney in the back four, Phillips, Grealish and Gundogan in the midfield three, Phone on the left, Mahrez on the right and of course Alexander Isak through the middle on the bench, we've got Torres, Sterling, De Bruyne, Roderick, Cancelo, Laporte and Edison. This is the versus Newcastle, Newcastle side they've been taken over and they spent big money, big transfer for them up top is Andrea Bellotti from Torino, he's partner I think with Callum Wilson up top. No St. Max and I don't believe in the, the Newcastle side today. They're looking to emulate the times when Alan Shearer is there. Joe Linton there as well up top. Chris, I think it's Andrews Christensen Chris in midfield again. And Julian Weigel's been signed from Benfica. So this is the Newcastle side. In goal is Martin Dubravka. Your back five is Ryan Fredericks, Emil Kraft, Paul Dummett, Julian Weigel and Matt Ritchie. Midfield three is Christensen, Longstaff and Oliver Torreth. And then they've got Joe Linton and Bellotti up top on the bench. Darlow, Shah. Fraser, Gale, Lascelles, St. Maximin, and Callum Wilson. So Manchester City versus Newcastle, and he's live on St. James's Park. Back into Isak, being very involved here. Tierney swings one into Isak, you can't get the end of it. Grealish is there, back out to Tierney, back down to Grealish. Can't clip it in, down to Gundogan. Gundogan, oh, I didn't mean to shoot there. Got me buttons mixed up and meant for a, a layoff to Walker or someone. He had a shot instead. Calvin Phillips up, down to Gundogan. Isak, Grealish. Isak. Through to Foden, great pass. Foden, oh, good save from Dubravka. Really good save. Foden tried to put that one in. Crossing to Stones. Stones does win the header off the post. Kyle Walker in the rebound. Still it doesn't go in and Newcastle get it away. Well, a goal line scramble there. That's a foul by Tierney against Newcastle. But give him ball instead, I think. Gundogan. Walker. Standing off Walker, who hits one. Into the hands of the Newcastle goalkeeper. Oh, we haven't scored yet. Oh, away brilliantly. Isak. Gundogan. Mares. Gundogan. Grealish. Oh, brilliant hit from Jack Grealish. 1 0. Gundogan lays it off to Grealish and he smashes it in the back of the net. Brilliant goal from Jack Grealish. Really nice goal here. Maris pulls it back. Grealish just waiting in the edge of the box. Gundo on the back heel and Grealish. I mean, the power he puts in that shot there. Into that side net. And Dubravka's got no chance. He's fifth in nine games. Player of the season. He's an easy pick out, isn't he, straight away? Into Grealish. Mares. Into Isak. Isak does get his goal now. He hasn't scored in two games. And he thought that was too many. So he goes and puts it in the back of the net for 2 0. Left foot or right foot, doesn't matter with this man. Each foot is as good as the other one. Mara is into Alexander Isak. Could have gone near post, goes to the far corner with his left boot. Goal number 12 of the season. 2 0. I mean, for 50, we paid 50.5 million for him. Plus, Yangel Herrera is probably worth around 20 million or so. So, you think that's 70 million for this man? Sign of the summer. I don't think anyone. Can deny he's signing the summit in the Premier League. Isak. Grealish. Holding off the challenge is Grealish. Then to Phil Foden. And Foden with a hit and it blots away. Grealish down to Tierney. Phillips. Gundogan. Walker. Not sure what to do, is he, Kyle? Oh, it's Calvin Phillips! Oh, what a hit from Phillips. Gets his first Manchester City goal. With power on the weaker left foot. And it hits the goalkeeper for Dubravka and goes into the bottom corner. 3-0 here at Newcastle, running riot. First goal for Phillips. Again, just laying it off to the edge of the box where Jolinton's not tracking back. Oh, Dubravka. That is really, really, really shocking goalkeeping. I've hit this like an absolute rocket from Phillips, but Dubravka. I think I've seen Edison do that for us before, haven't we? 3-0. I'd be dragging the Bravka off at half time if I was Steve Bruce, or whoever is in charge now. Probably Steve Bruce still on, on FIFA. See you later. Into Isak. Mares. Foden. Oh, Tierney, the fullback. Oh, goal for Kieran Tierney. Well, they're all getting on it now. Phillips has got his first Manchester City goal, and so is Kieran Tierney. Great ball across to him by Phil Foden. And he fires it across the goalkeeper. 
Good finish from Tierney. Really good finish. Saying Isak for Ferran Torres. I think I will make that change. Very good finish from the fullback. He's caught that so, so sweetly, hasn't he, Kieran Tierney? So Isak off, Ferran Torres on. 4 0 lead Newcastle. Chance for everyone to get a goal for themselves. Grealish. Grealish over to Ferran. Torres on the volley. Torres makes it 5 0. He's been on the field around. I don't know, 10 seconds if that. And Grealish has provided him with an assist. Great goal by Ferran on the volley as well. Caught this so well. What a ball by Grealish. But look at that by Ferran. Half volley. Does it just hit the floor before he hits that? It does. Just as it sits up, he hits it perfectly. Such a hard technique. And Ferran's excelled. 5 0. The way we're controlling games. Obviously not all the time. We saw Chelsea. Foden! Oh, what a hit from Phil Foden. 6-0. I just saw that opportunity open up. I could have played it through to Grealish. But I thought, you know what? Let's let Phil hit this one. And Foden does. Who assists him? It's Ferran Torres into Foden. Grealish makes the run. Foden says, I don't need you. Off the post and in. Pot shots on Dubravka. I think four of the goals have come from outside the box today. That's a tough one to save considering it comes off the post. It is still Steve Bruce in charge. 6-0 Manchester City. What a performance. What a performance. Calvin Phillips, what's your passing range like? Brilliant. Sterling takes any stride here. Sterling cuts inside. Sterling still. Oh, tried to skip a few challenges and then open up a shot on his right foot on the Bravka. Stones the poor challenge here. Oh, Callum Wilson's in. Good save from that man, Zach Steffen. That was poor defending there. Stones dived in. Under one in there. Well, Wilson's causing problems. A goal for Newcastle 6 1. It were coming. They, they just they started to play football, and you think, I can't stop this. Stones is not tight enough in any way to Bellotti. He's beat Steffen at the near post, which is the way to go. But Steffen's had a good game again. Another, I think it's Grish got another two assists today. Definitely got one. Well, Bellotti again. Wilson. Oh, what a save from Stefan. Into Sterling. Gives it away. That's full time. 6-1. It's a shame we conceded. But a wonderful performance again to end the episode. Battering Newcastle. Really fantastic. Isak, Ferran Torres. Everyone. Top, top performances. We've built a really, really good squad here, haven't we? That is going to end today's episode. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll see you guys next time.